What's your sugar mama story? My dad, he broke up with my mom, and now lives with an 80 years old, he's 50. She's rich and he's basically homeless, but he's handsome and looks good with her. She supplied his cocaine addiction for years, and then she also supplied him money to chase me, and my mom through the courts over custody. TLDR, 80 and 50 years old, cougar fuels cocaine addiction of my dad. Went out drinking with my cousin on a Thursday night and we ended up meeting her at the bar he'd hooked up with before. It's closing time, and he invites me over to her place, to keep the party going. I was supposed to stay at his place, so I didn't really have anywhere else to go. At the end of the night, she made me a bed in her guest room. I woke up the next morning with a terrible hangover and people are rushing around, and I'm like what the, is all this noise? I emerge from the bedroom, and sitting at the kitchen table is my cousin, the and her two high school aged kids. Mind you, I'm 22 at the time and my cousin is 23. Packed us lunches, while she made her kids lunches, and sent us off with brown paper bags and Gatorades. The kids were less shocked than I was. I think they were used to it. Edit, she was divorced and lived in a massive house. Ex constantly bought me food, and would give me money, if I wanted beer or weed, but would then leave the beer, and weed knowing I would drink, or smoke it all. She only ever came to my apartment for 6, and would then leave, when I couldn't get it up again. Her mom would drop off 3 to 4 bags of groceries every week. She bought me my second car ever, and paid for my college classes, and helped me get my life on track really. It ended pretty quick, when I told her I thought I was in love with her. I was really drunk at a party. I was about to leave, and I was pretty hungry. This girl I was talking to on Tinder, lived like 2 streets over. I can't believe she actually did it. She left popped it out on the front porch for me. I did once visit a guy who had a sugar mama, a friend of the girl I was dating at the time. He was this average looking 20 year old stoner kid who was living in a nice house in the city. His sugar mama was paying for him to go to community college. I was at a dive bar and this lady comes in, wearing yoga pants, and a tank slash sports bra. It was a Tuesday night. She was beautiful. Looked like a hot suburban mom early mid 40s. Had no idea what she was doing there. We got to chatting, and it turns out she was in the middle of a divorce, and had been moving out of their house all day. We exchange numbers and I go to her house later that night. Door opens and it's on without introduction. Through the night and later the next day, she keeps making comments about how she can't believe she's with such a younger guy. I look young for my age, so I assume that she misunderstands and I say, you keep saying that. I don't think I'm as young as you think, and she asked how old I was. I told her 33, and she said that's what she thought, she was 55. I was totally shocked, but also thought it was pretty cool. Over the next year, we had an ongoing relationship. She never cared, or got jealous about who I was dating or seeing. We would even talk about sex with other people, while we made love. Which was pretty hot, because neither of us were possessive, and it was about mutual enjoyment. She was very adventurous sexually, and I felt I could open up about anything, and be truly open with her, without judgement. We would go out to restaurants and she would always pay. She paid for us to take one small trip for a week together out of town which was awesome. She always talked about how she had an older man set her up in business, when she was young, and how she'd like to do the same for me. And we would talk about plans for what that would look like. She even suggested I move into her spare bedroom and be roommates. Saying she wouldn't be jealous if I brought a girl home. I thought that was a bit too complicated and would work only in theory, so I respectfully declined. I moved off and she found someone her own age and we talk less and less all the time, but I keep her updated on my life. I think of her fondly and often and tell her I love her. I consider her a very special woman to me, and she still inspires me. A female friend of mine asked me if I'd be interested in becoming FWB, so we came to a mutual agreement and hung out a few times a week at my place. After the first week, she started bringing me food. The second week, she cleaned my kitchen. And by the third week, we were no longer just friends with benefits. Six or so years ago I was just out of college in Southern California, living with my grandpa, and asked out a Chinese grad student, after meeting her at work. On our second date, she picked me up in a shiny black Audi. 
said her parents leased it for her. We went to a Chinese restaurant. I had paid for food on our first date and just assumed I would keep on doing so, despite making $15 per hour at the time, because I'm a red-blooded, Korean, American man. So when she started ordering lobster, duck, and enough food to feed eight I started getting a bit nervous. The check came, and I reached for it, but she snatched it away, got out her wallet, and pulled out three Benjamins, like it was nothing. And when she did that, I couldn't help but catch a glimpse of the stack of crisp bills, all which seemed to have a similar pattern w slash Benjamin Franklin's bald head peeking out the top. She had to have had at least two G's in there. I don't like going to the bank, so I just get it all at once, she said. I had way less in my name than she had in her wallet lmao. Anyway she paid for the $200 plus meal and let me have the leftovers. Had my meal set for the next week. From then on we alternated paying for dates. My meals would be one digit dollar or two digit dollar solar on Yelp, hers three digits dollar plus. She eventually would pay for Disneyland tickets, lacquer games, and some fantastic meals before five months later she graduated, her student visa expired, and she went back to China. She was really down to earth too. Once we went to a spot near downtown, and she street parked in Skid Row. I advised against it, motioning to the homeless encampments, but she said it was no big deal. Chill. Her English was good enough to hold conversation, but once we were lying in bed, and it was kind of a lull, and she said out of the blue I'm funnier in Chinese, which I thought was hilarious, but also sad. Maybe because of that, we didn't text much outside of planning our weekends. I sometimes wondered whether she had two or three boyfriends she was just cycling through lol. She didn't have Facebook, only Weibo, or some other Chinese social media. I texted her a few years ago, but the normally blue bubbles were now green. Still, we had a lot of fun, and she helped get me through those post-grad broke blues. Hope she's doing alright. This happened in Tokyo around 5 or 6 years ago. Met a client at work, when I was 26 or 27. She was 32 or 33. She was really cute, very smart and educated, and we got on very well together. She was a bit of a train geek, she liked riding trains. Fairly common in Japan, but rare for a woman, she had a lot of cute quirks like that. She could tell you the make and model of every pantograph on every train in operation in Japan. Anyone who knows Japanese politics has heard her name before. I didn't know who she was when we first met, but my boss later on told me to treat her like a VIP at all times. Anyway our work project wrapped up, and we decided to go out for a bite at a nearby restaurant. She tells me she needs help preparing for an interview at a very famous company for a very unique role that they would essentially be creating just for her. I tell her I'd be happy to help her with it, I didn't have any ulterior motives, I genuinely liked her and wanted her to succeed. We met up again to do the interview prep and one more final practice after that. She invited me to play darts with her after we'd finished, since she apparently enjoyed darts, and I'd never played before. We went out to a darts bar in the early evening, and somehow we ended up playing a game where the loser of the game had to drink tequila shots. She mopped the floor with me, but we both started doing shots until well past the last trains home. Eventually we wound up going to an internet cafe to spend the rest of the night, but things progressed pretty quickly, she got touchy-feely, and we decided to get out of there and go to a hotel together. And so began our relationship. She turned out to be richer than God. She would buy all kinds of stuff for me, would never let me pay for dates, even though I was making very good money for my age, wanted to take me on all kinds of trips around Asia. She bought me some very nice watches and clothes which I still have and cherish to this day. She had a Benz and an Aston Martin and some other cars just lying around in her parking spaces in the middle of Tokyo. Probably would have married her if it weren't for some complications with her marital status. I found out about that after a few weeks of dating. It was a bit of a tragedy really. It turned out she was in a terrible loveless marriage and had a young child. I found out about that way, after we'd already been going out a while. At first it made me uncomfortable to be in that situation, but I started to understand that she was trapped in it, and due to societal pressure she had no real way of divorcing. Neither of them wanted to continue their marriage and both of them were seeing other people, but due to their very high profile in the Japanese media a divorce was out of the question. 
we ended up breaking up when we realized having a kid together would cause irreversible damage to her political career and that a divorce to marry a white guy would be the end for her professionally. That really cared, but it was the truth. She was the best girlfriend I've ever had. If I'd met her three years earlier I'm sure my life would have been completely different now. Not for the money, could not care less about that. I've never met someone I connected with so well. Really the one that got away. Met a 30 year old widow on Xbox when I was 19. She said she played Xbox to pass the day because she was financially set for life when her husband passed and wanted to make some Xbox friends. We start playing more and more until I couldn't keep up because my controller and headset broke. She asked for my address and after a week I got a brand new controller and headset. I couldn't thank her enough and asked what I could do in return. To which she replied to just keep playing with her. Over the next few years, she occasionally buys me new games when they came out and even a few collector's editions if I wanted them. Eventually, we drifted apart because I couldn't find time play with my school and work schedule. I still miss her and occasionally try and find her online again but can't remember her gamer tag or Facebook. She will always be one of my best gaming buddies I've ever had. So this happened when I was 18. I met a woman at a club. She was a 43 years old, but very in shape. She owned a couple of local restaurants, would always make me come over and cook dinner, sometimes even give me the keys to her older BMW to get around in. She took me to Vegas a couple times. Sex was good. It was nice for a while, but she was very controlling. I had to be at her place within a certain time after I got off work, which was basically the commute time plus 5 minutes. I certainly wasn't allowed to date anyone else. I got tired of it and quit. My mom, who works as a massage therapist, told me her boss, 42, at her spa thought I, 19, at the time, was hot when my mom showed her pictures of me. Ended up getting an ad on Facebook from her, and she told me to come down to the downtown spa where she worked at during her lunch break. Got an hour massage, crazy sex on the table, $50 and a chip little burrito. In my early 20s I met an older woman around mid 40s in a bar. She was drinking alone, and I stood by her to order a drink. She leaned over, and gave me all kinds of compliments about my body. I said thanks, and that she looked great too. She gave me her business card, realtor, and told me to text her around 2am. I did. She rolled up to my place in a super nice Benz. Woke up and she was gone. Next weekend she texted me an address and to be there at 8pm, and to clear my entire weekend for her. I did. She had a really nice 8 bedroom house. She was wild. Taught me a thing or two and let me explore all kinds of I didn't even know I was interested in. The next weekend, same thing. I showed up, and she had so much stuff for me. Really nice high end clothes and shoes. She also bought all kinds of kinky toys for me to use on her too. She made me into a half dom, and I would tie her up, and do just about anything I wanted to. We had a good time. Then she fell off the face of the earth. I don't regret it one bit. She was really nice, and spoiled the out of me. She made me food, and would bring it to me, while I was in bed. Massaged my body damn near every day. She would sleep in a different room. And between the sexual times we would have long lengthy conversations about anything and everything. 